Hey CDN family, I just want to extend an invitation for you to join us at Launchpad Prayer. We're meeting tonight at 8 p.m., tomorrow at 12 noon, and would just love to have you join together with us as we just lift our voices, celebrate the goodness of God, and pray for His continued favor and blessing over this church multiplication movement. So I hope to see you there. And listen, I want to extend a prayer to you right now. And so I don't know what you're doing. I, I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're busy, you know, chasing after your, your kids or hard at work or somewhere in between. I don't know if you're looking on your phone or at, you know, sitting at your desk, but here's what I want you to do. Because you just take a moment and try to tune out some distractions, set, set some things aside, maybe close down some browser tabs, whatever you need to do. Maybe even just kind of close your eyes and take a deep breath. And I want you to just receive this prayer right now as I, on behalf of the whole of CDN, just intercede for you, for your ministry, for the people that you're serving, and for you know the glory of God to be made known through you and your work. And so receive this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just give you all glory and honor for all that you're doing in our lives and all the things you're doing in our churches every day. Uh, even in those times where we can't see it or we don't understand it, Lord, we know that you're at work. And so I pray, God, that you would set before us your ways, that, that we would begin to see and understand that your plans are the plans that we need to follow. So we lay aside our agenda and we step into your agenda for us. Lord, help us, we pray. Help, help each church planter to extend your living hope in a world that is so desperately in need of your presence and healing. God, we thank you that your ways and your thoughts are far greater than ours. God, we rejoice that you reign supreme, that you are holy and good and righteous and you're with us. Lord, help us not to just follow the next big idea or the voices of the crowd or all the other things that press into us. But instead, Lord, I pray that as we press in close to you, that we would hear your voice and that we would experience your presence. And from that place, we would declare that your goodness and your grace and your mercy and your love would stand firm forever. Fill us, Lord, with your loving kindness. Overwhelm us with the power of your Holy Spirit, even today, right in this moment. And we thank you that your power is made perfect in weakness. So, Lord, we know that you're here with us right now, that you're present. It's what you've promised us. And, God, you're also going before us. And so, Lord, would you make a way that we could work not in our own strength and not by our own might, not, not by any sort of earthly power, but by your Spirit it, th that makes the difference in this world. So give us the courage to go into all the world, Lord, even today, to rise up from this place and to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, that the message of the gospel would be lived out through our lives and proclaimed from our mouths. Lord, we pray for more and more fruitfulness for your kingdom and for your glory. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that prayer encouraged you today. Just know that we're with you and we're praying for you. I hope to see you tonight on Launchpad Prayer.